Hello everyone, today I am filming a spring cleaning vlog. I did this past weekend actually clean my bathroom, my kitchen, all the light switches and like cabinet handles, door handles, and then I even vacuumed and mopped my floor. But there are some things that I don't normally clean that do need to get cleaned, so we're going to be doing those kinds of things today. But before that, I actually have some errands that I'm running, so I'm actually in the parking lot of the Target right now. Um, so we're going to be going in there. Then I want to go to Hobby Lobby and check out any seasonal decor that they might have. And then I need to get some groceries at Walmart. Now, you may or may not notice that I am not in my car. And I'm actually in a rental right now. My car has been having issues ever since last year with the ignition not turning on. Like, it'll be fine. And then it won't turn on randomly. And I'll have to call roadside assistance and have them, you know, jump uh, the battery. And then I'll take my car in to, um, you know, a place and, <laughs> and then they'll check it out and fix it. And then three months later, the same thing happens. And this is the third time now. So I'm hoping they really find the issue. They did call me yesterday and told me that they ordered a new part that's going to be coming in tomorrow at some point. So I'm either going to be getting my car back tomorrow or hopefully no later than the day after that, but that's why I'm in a different car. So without further ado, let's run some errands. I just got back from the store, so I figured I'd give you a little haul. Let's start with the cold stuff first because I need to put it away. So I've got these two fruit smoothies. One is green goodness and one is strawberry banana. I've got a Chobani Flip key lime pie, key lime crumble, excuse me, flavor. We got an Asian style salad mix, three bananas, some baby carrots, some bite-sized bell peppers, A bag of mixed vegetables. This is actually my favorite bag of mixed vegetables ever since I've been a child. It's carrots, green beans, corn, and peas. I have also got two frozen meals. So one is grilled chicken pesto with vegetables. This is one of my favorites. And then also sweet and sour chicken, and it's from the brand Healthy Choice. We've also got these popsicles that are peach flavored. And lastly, I've got a pepperoni pizza, which I think I'm going to make for lunch. But I don't want to start the oven yet because I'm going to go put my car back away. All right, so that is all the cold food I got. So let me get my second bag and we'll go over the dry food. Okay, so round two. First thing I got are some grape tomatoes. And before anyone says anything, I was actually surprised to find out that tomatoes are not supposed to be refrigerated, so I keep them on my counter. So that's why I'm saying, you know, dry storage, room temp, basically. Next, I got some roasted and salted, yeah, roasted and salted pistachios, and I always get them with no shell on them. Even though they're significantly more expensive, I just feel like it's worth it, that extra money, because then I don't have to sit there and de-shell every single pistachio. So I got some of those. Also a refill of my favorite bars ever, the peanut butter chocolate chip Lara bars. I got the Everything Season Crackers. I haven't had these in a while, but I do really love them, so I got those again. A refill of my Arizona fruit snacks and the great value brand of fruit strips. And this is sort of that variety pack. So we have mixed berry and strawberry flavor in here. I also got the Simply Naked Stacy's Pita Chips. And the last thing of food, I got some Twizzlers and I got pink lemonade flavor. I've never had pink lemonade Twizzlers, but I do love Twizzlers. So I think 
I think this might be good. I don't know. I'll be trying it. So that was all the food that I got at Walmart. The only other Walmart item was I got a refill of soap for my soap dispenser. It's the Equate brand aloe vera liquid hand soap. Now my soap dispensers are actually foaming, but what you can do is buy liquid hand soap, which is much cheaper than foaming hand soap, and you can dilute it either three to one or four to one. And it works just great. So that's what I will be doing. Now on to the really fun stuff. Okay, so let's start with Target because I just got one thing there. And that is this super cute corset off the shoulder top in yellow. And I actually went to Target yesterday and I tried this on in white and I liked it, but I wasn't 100% sure that I wanted to get it. And so I thought about it and then I was like, you know what, I wanna go back in and I wanna try on the yellow because I was interested in the yellow. I didn't really want the white after trying it on. I was like, ooh, I think the yellow would be good. So I figured, let me try on the yellow, make sure I like it on my body, the way that it looks, like color wise. And then I also just wanted to sit down in it and see if it was comfortable. And I think that it is workable sitting down the only thing is I'm a little nervous because I tried on a small and I actually ended up getting a medium and buying the medium because I was hoping that there would be a little bit more room, but I just don't know if it will change the fit of it. So we're going to try it on and see if it, if it's not good, I can always just take it back, but, um, and then get the small, but that's what I got at Target. And lastly, we went to Home Goods. I was hoping they had stuff leftover from spring and they actually did so we got some spring stuff then they also had some summer decor and fourth of july decor they also had like graduation stuff now i'm not graduating but my brother's actually graduating from college next year so when i've seen like graduation stuff i've kind of been looking in there just to see like what might be available next year but anyway i didn't see anything from the summer section that i like had to have so i didn't get anything there but in terms of 4th of July, I just got one thing and that is these window clings. I got some window clings from Dollar Tree that I really like and I'm just gonna use those in my apartment. But I really like these gel ones for my car windows. I put them on the inside so they won't fall off or anything. Um, but yeah, I thought this was cute and just some, a little something to celebrate. And the last things I got are spring items. Everything was 40% off, which is awesome. So going with the window cling trend, I got these two. One says Hello Spring with a rainbow and a sun. Hopefully you can see that it's kind of shiny. And then the other one is a butterfly, a bee, and some flowers. Then I got this wooden birdhouse that you can color. I'm not actually planning on putting this outside, although I, maybe I could. I don't know. I'd be a little worried that it would mold, but um, I was just planning on coloring it and then putting it somewhere inside. I just thought it would be a nice decoration. Then I got these wooden bugs that you can color. These would be cute. I just actually got a wooden sun from the Dollar Tree. Actually, I think I put it back here, if you can see right there. Um, so I just thought, you know, it's cute to like, you know, lean against something or, you know, you can hang it up. So got these. And then the last thing was I got, excuse me, I got some floral confetti. And I thought this would be fun to put in envelopes when I send my best friend Megan letters. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna put it in every letter, but definitely I think the next letter I send her, which I was planning to write this week and then you know send as soon as I can after that. Maybe I'll put some of this in here. I just think it's fun. I recently got a letter with, um, not a letter from her, but I, I got something in the mail and it had confetti in it and it was just like a fun surprise to open it and have all that in there. So. When I saw this and I saw it was $1.99 and 40% off, I was like, ooh, I think I gotta have that. So that's that. That's everything that I got on my little outing today. I'm gonna work on putting all this stuff away and then have lunch. I don't know if I'm gonna film lunch, but I will definitely check back in with you when I'm ready to start cleaning. It's a little after 2 p.m. now and I'm ready to do some spring cleaning and just, you know, space refreshing. So I'm gonna start out by actually changing out my toothbrush head on my toothbrush and the cover as well. I've been meaning to do that, I think, 
now's the perfect time. I also want to wipe off the wheels of my vacuum cleaner because when I was vacuuming yesterday, I realized it looks like there's like some hair and stuff stuck on there. So I just want to wipe those down. I want to wipe down the baseboards because they're pretty dusty and I think hair can sometimes stick to them when they're dusty. And then I think I'm going to finally change out the hangers in my closet because they've been mismatched for over a year now. I finally bought some new ones, so I actually just have to do the work and switch the hangers out. So let's get started. aftermath of uh, <laughs> refreshing my closet these are all the leftover hangers that I have the extra ones that I'm not going to be using anymore so I'll have to think about what I want to do with those the plastic ones I feel like I might just throw out but I don't know the velvet ones might be able to be reused it's just that I don't know there might be like wear and tear on them to me it just kind of looks like dust but I guess I haven't really inspected them too closely and then I don't know, I saved this seat cushion from college because I thought maybe like if I wanted to sit on the floor, I could use this, but I've lived on my own for about a year and a half now and I've never once used this or, you know, wanted to use it. So once again, I don't know, can I donate it or should I just throw it out? It's really not good enough quality to donate. And then I have an extra laundry hamper. I just updated mine in December, I think December. And um, so this is my old one. It works perfectly fine. I actually had this in college, but the problem is it kind of smells a little bit. So I think I'm just going to throw this out. As for the hangers, I have some left, which is nice. So it gives me room in case I buy more things. So I don't know. I might store these like to the left of the laundry hamper. Yeah, I guess there's, there's not really that much room on the top shelf, but I'll find a place for them. Overall, I'm very happy with how this turned out. I think it just looks so much cleaner and neater and more organized. And I like that there's way less stuff on the floor. That's kind of another project, but <laughs> for now, this is what we're working with and I'm, I'm happy with it.
All right, well, I was gonna explain this and then I got a call from the place I was talking about, I think in my last video, that's like a sort of a holistic, but like non-traditional uh, health team that can help um, with any like issues that you're having. And um, yeah, <laughs> it's not a great explanation, but anyway, they called me back and I got my first appointment scheduled with a doctor. Unfortunately, they didn't have any availability next week. And they, the, this doctor only works on Mondays and Tuesdays. And I don't work on Mondays, but I do work on Tuesdays. And this appointment's supposed to be an hour and I can't just like take an hour off of work. So basically I can only meet with this doctor on Monday, but she was booked this upcoming Monday. So I had to schedule it for the next Monday. So I have the appointment in about two weeks. Um, you know, a little disappointing that it couldn't be next week, but what you're gonna do. So this next thing I'm gonna be doing is replacing this outlet cover. I hope it works. So I actually painted this in March. It really wasn't that long ago. I don't know why I like almost forgot, but it was in March when I went to Utah for a week with my family. And yeah, I just thought this would be like a fun, easy way to just like implement a little bit more like fun and color and whimsy into my space. So I'm going to be doing that. I hope that works. Let me unplug this. I don't know why, but I'm like nervous that this hole is going to be too small, but I guess we're going to find out. So I have my screwdriver here. I've had this since college and I remember like I had to get it last minute. And so I literally was just like CBS because CBS was like down the street. I was like, do they have screwdrivers? And they have this. And so I, I bought it. I walked down there. I got like, it was literally the day I was moving out. And I am just so grateful that I got this because it, it's just a, it's a, a lifesaver. It's a space saver because I don't have a million different, you know, tools. I can just replace the heads. And so today we are going to be using, I don't know, do they call it a flat head when it's like, this, I, I don't know what they're technically called. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. But anyway, we're using this today and I'm gonna replace this outlet cover. There's a lot of like paint on this, which is how it was when I moved in. But just, just a side note. Okay. Great, so this the top. Oh, I think it's gonna fit. Does that look diagonal or no, actually it looks fine. There's like a little bit more like room around these, but it's not too much that I think it's like dangerous or anything. So that, that actually went really well. I don't know. Do we think it's cute? I don't know if I love how it turned out. Like I love like the, the green color. I'm happy with like the strokes. I like kind of a little handmade look to it. And I like the little like white speckled paint I put around those openings there, but I was trying to make like flowers. Oh, okay. Or it didn't work. Um, <laughs> I guess not. But anyway, what I was saying was they kind of look like stars or something or like starfish. Okay. So clearly I was a little bit too hard with it. So I guess we're going back to, back to this. Well, you know, it was cute while it lasted <laughs> two seconds. Maybe my next project is to get the paint off of this because even though it's white on white, I feel like it is visible. It looks a little sloppy. All right, well, debatably that was a waste of time, but <laughs> at least I tried, at least I tried and now we can throw this out. I mean, I could like glue it, but then you have to be like really careful with it and you're obvious, like it, you're gonna be able to see there's a line, like come on. In person, it's gonna be obvious. 
that it was once broken. You know, like it, yeah. Oh, well, ah. I, I don't got the energy for this. <laughs> the last thing I think I wanna do today is I wanna put up these window clings, you know, just kind of be in the spirit while we're in spring. Let's bring that into the space. So I'm thinking this window, I know you can't see me. It is so bright, the sun right now, but this is when I wanted to do this. You know, it's my own fault. Well, let's get these window clings on the window, shall we? I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed spending today with me, doing a little spring cleaning, spring refresh, you know, running some errands. If you wanna keep up with me, feel free to follow my Instagram. I'll have the handle below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.